my truck back. 13 days. This is day 13 that was in the shop. I finally got it all straightened out. So, um, off to my first job. This this job I was going to, where my truck died. Um, they got no AC on the second floor, and there's a leak somewhere. So the ladies the ladies out of town, so she could wait. So I'm gonna go there and see what I can do. I know that there's definitely a leak. She says the system's never worked right in eight years. So. Uh, if it's low on gas, we'll see if we can locate the leak in the evaporator or the line set or maybe at the condenser. So the compressor's been changed, so it's a Goodman unit. See what I can find when I get there. Back in the ice cream truck, Mama. Back in the ice cream truck, Mama. Mama, can you hear the bells? It's the ice cream truck, Mama. I got standing pressure in there. Let me turn it on, we'll see what it does. Well, it was iced up last time I was here. I pulled the disconnect. I don't see any oil on the valves or anything, so. Definitely want to check, uh, check upstairs the evaporator and stuff. It's a little three ton Goodman, it's a uh, R22. Look, there's a bird living up there. One there, look at that. I'll be dipped in shit. Holy cow. Don't look like they use this area a lot. Yeah. All right, guys. The filter don't look too bad here, so that's not the problem. I see something right off the bat. These are wide open. That's not good. Now, let me take this uh, this cover off and let's see if we can find any leaks with the H10. Line set looks soft. I don't see nothing there leaking. We'll take that back up and we'll check it good. <clears throat> this is a 36 also. Hydro air system, see the hot water coil. Let's see if I get this panel off. Complaining about they gotta add gas to this thing every year, so see what we can do here. Yeah. I got it on a medium leak.
guys can see where it's leaking, but it's leaking right from that Schrader valve. See this? Right from that Schrader valve. They probably, when they heated it up, they probably cooked the fucker. Schrader Replace that Schrader valve in there, that Schrader core. Replace that Schrader. Make sure it don't bubble up. in there. I replaced that Schrader core. I don't know if my camera was uh, recording it when I pulled it out, but um, I could have probably just tightened up that cap, but I wanted to put a, I wanted to replace the, the Schrader core down inside. You can see this joints right here, so when they heated that up, they probably cooked that sucker. That's probably your only leak. That's the only place that the leak detector ran rang off on. So, I want guys ask about this stuff I use. Let's see what size it is. Let's see. It's like one inch. One inch ID. One inch. One inch ID. stuff is you could always you could always get it off if you ever had to so some guys will just put a couple on there dry and I kind of like to use this shit pan's still in pretty good shape considering uh, it's a 
steel pan. That'll never leak. Put a couple of caps there. I gotta put some tape here because I don't have the. I don't know what they did with the part of the door. I can't find it anywhere. I looked all over. I don't see it anywhere. So. Filter don't look too bad. Next time I come, I'll get some filters. I'll just put a piece of tape there for now. <clears throat> I gotta tape this. I'll put some black tape. So I'm a flux. Alright guys, I got some tape on there. I got those plugged. I got a couple of wire ties on the uh, the Armaflex to hold it. I'm gonna have to uh, start it up and put a charge to it. And I'll get my probes up here and we'll see what we got for airflow and stuff. Definitely gonna be low on free on, I'm thinking. Alright guys, I got my turn probe, supply probe. And I'm on a third floor here, so I got my repeater halfway in the middle. I added a little bit of gas to it. Um, I had put all my probes together, but the unit's up there on the third floor. I had to open that window and put my repeater in there to pick up the probes on the third floor. So um, I had it on the bed, the repeater in, on the bed in there with the blinds closed, it wouldn't pick it up. But if I open the window, okay, I got the repeater and I got the probes way up on the third floor. So. You need the repeater and certain jobs. I put a little bit more in there, but um, it's pretty hard in there, so. right there where I want to be. See what our performance is, our airflow. Just the performance. Yeah, it flows a little bit more than it should be, but not by much. Calculated 2.77 tons. Um, I'm just above 1,200 on the, on the airflow. I'm good with that. Put on manual and I put on 70, so you should be fine. I'll pull down. I gotta make sure I get my repeater. But she's she's working good there yeah, now. I was leaking from that uh, Schrader valve. Schrader valve cap. 